Are you ready? Are you getting ready? It's 2014. It's time to go au naturel. I'm going to be doing a three-part series talking about going natural. We'll talk about going natural, breakage, and styling. But first, before we get all there, let me tell you a little story about this one lady. In September of 2009, I decided to return to my natural curls. I transitioned with doing a lot of sewings. I wore ponytails. I even in the winter time did flex rods and styling twists. The summer came if you see humidity kicked in and my hair started puffing up. So I did the Brazilian carotene treatment. That lasted a while. I would cut my hair. And then I realized I'm doing this hair straight, but I want to go natural. Why? So I started to research and find out how to care for my hair. And this is my big chop look. In this series, I'm going to address issues for both transitioning, new naturals, or those who may be even considering returning to the natural youth. We're gonna talk about how to care for your transition or natural hair, building a regimen, and how to address issues of dry scalp and dry hair. These are all issues I went through when I was transitioning for nine months. The first I've learned about my hair is that there were two textures. You had your relaxed ends and your curly hair. I learned that doing a pre-pool will help detangle, soften, and increase the moisture of my hair before even shampooing it. Now when doing my pre-pool, I like to spray my hair down with water before I get started, just to loosen my curls. Then I'm going to take a wide tube comb and separate it into four sections. I'm going to take that Total Perfection 100% Raw Vegan Argon Oil, two pumps, and I'm going to put this all throughout my section of the hair. I'll then take the Cream Hair Rinse, which is a conditioner from Entwine Couture, apply an ample amount onto my hand, and then I'm going to start from my ends, which is the driest portion of the hair, up. I'm going to then section that section into two, and then just do the same thing over again, applying more conditioner, finger detangling my hair and just detangling my hair with my fingers. The cream hair rinse has such a great slip, it's a really easy task. Then I'm gonna braid my hair. The reason why you wanna braid your hair is, is that your hair is stronger together than it is separate. So here I am all done with my braids, and I like to make sure that I moisturize my ends because it's the driest portion of your hair, so I'll add a little more conditioner into those ends to make sure they're uber duber moisturized. Now you have two options here. You can go with your hair as is, and if you have a steamer, go under that steamer because it's going to increase your moisture, which is great. I don't have that, so I'm gonna take a plastic cap, double that cap up, and then put a head rag on, and let this sit for about 30 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I'm not gonna rinse that conditioner out. I'm gonna go straight into washing my hair with the lathering hair bath, the shampoo by Entwine Couture. I love this shampoo because it's nice. It has no sulfates in it very great slip. Now you, when you wash your hair for your transitioning you want to keep it braided because washing your hair like this you'll have less breakage. However I'm going to go ahead and unravel mine and wash it but make sure you use the pads of your fingers not your nails and then detangle my hair. And I'm just going to re-braid it back up before I rinse it out. This up video in the top corner is showing you how you rinse your hair down with down gentle strokes. Adding a deep conditioner to your hair is huge in your regimen. It's going to help increase that moisture as well as continue to detangle your hair. Now after I deep condition my hair, I like to allow my hair to dry up to 70%. Avoiding heat at any time will help decrease the brittle and dryness of your hair. So I'm done. I've added the aphrodisian I'm leaving and I've allowed it to air dry. I'm just going to unravel my hair to get it ready to do a protective style. The one thing I've learned that's essential is keeping your hands out of your hair as much as possible. You want to already have your mind set up to what hairstyle you're going to do. The less your hands are in your hair, the less the breakage and the better for your hair regimen. Now me, I have really thick hair so I have to separate my hair. I think it's essential if you have thick hair to separate it because otherwise it'll be too much to take on. Now 
to address the issues of a dry scalp and dry hair, I love to put oil in my scalp before I start anything else. So I'm going to take that raw vegan argan oil, the total perfection, and do a pump in the front and a pump in the back on my scalp. Yeah, I missed that. Let's try that again. The whole purpose of doing this is basically to bring moisture to your scalp and to help make a healthy scalp. You have to remember that's where your hair starts at, so it's important not to forget about your scalp. Now I'm take the Total Perfection and just rub it throughout my whole hair. I like to do the lock method, which is a leave-in oil and a cream. So this is the oil and I'm also gonna massage my scalp. Another method I learned about that helps increase the moisture and fight the dry, brittle hair is the bagging method or the greenhouse effect. You're gonna take a leave-in and oil, put it to your hair, put a plastic cap on. Then you're gonna put a head rag on and another head rag or a cap and you'll sleep overnight with this, walk around doing errands. And this is gonna increase the moisture. It's gonna feel uber duper good after you've done it. Now doing the last step to the lock method is taking an exotic buttercream hydrator and rubbing it into my hair and sealing that moisture in. Now my hair is ready to style. I'm gonna take that cream jelly styler and put it in my hair to style my hair for protective style. Make sure you put it in your hair and not on your forehead like I did. Don't talk about me, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair behind my ears on both sides. Protective styling is essential for new naturals or naturals or even transitioning. For transitioning, it's because it's gonna hide and tuck those straight ends, but it also protects your hair, prevents it from breakage, and keeps your hands out of your hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and part just the front. It doesn't have to be a perfect part. And I'm going to take that cream de la mold and just put it on my edges and comb it down so my edges are a little laid. Now I'm going to take an elastic rubber band and put it right there. I'm going to pull it down to the side and down in front of my face but I want it to be loose, not tight. Kind of pull it down to loosen it up because you want your hair to be a little puffy. Then I'm gonna put some creme down mold on the side of my hair, brush it in. Laid edges, people, laid edges. And then I'm just gonna flat twist my hair. Oh, I wanna make sure you cover that rubber band, so I'm gonna put a piece of hair on top of that. I hope you guys saw that. And then just twist away and then two strand twist at the end. And then I just pull that little part up where I met the loose rubber band just to give it a nice little bump look. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna put that creme de la mode on it, brush it through, and then I'm just gonna flat twist my hair forward instead of back like I did the other side. And if you don't know how to flat twist, don't worry. I'll put a link down below um, where I have a video showing you how to flat twist your hair. All right, now I'm gonna do that back hair. Right now I'm just gonna take that brush and brush it down. Then I'm gonna take a large rubber band and put it all the way down at the bottom temporarily for what I need to do next. So I'm gonna take those loose hairs and I'm gonna get a small elastic rubber band and rubber band those hairs together. Now I'm gonna take that big rubber band out, the ouchless rubber band, and I'm gonna take a hair comb, twist my ends to make sure I tuck them and protect those ends and then put the comb down in it. From here, you're just going to pin it with bobby pins just to fix it so it's a nice clean roll in the back. I also like to put a head rag on my hair with that cream de la mold just so it has great laid edges. And let that sit for about 10 minutes. And this is it, the final look. I'll give you guys a 360.
you have to find a routine that's the main thing about going natural um, trying to go natural your routine is gonna have to change you're gonna have to find out what your hair likes and it takes patience you guys but it's so worth it when you finally figure out what it is your hair likes and learning your new hair that's why it's called a journey and I have been natural now three and a half years and I love me I love I return to my natural state now never ever go back I just love my hair entirely too much and that's it so as always I hope you like it you love it comment below and tell me what you think bye so here are the details about the giveaway Entwine Couture is giving away a Beyond Expected Audition Kit. This is a great kit. All you have to do is there's a link that's going to be in the description box. You're going to click on that link, say enter me, and Mama D sent me. Um, this giveaway is going to end on January 15th. It has all the products I have shown you today in the video, and you'll love them as much as I do. All right, guys, that's it. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to go to www.entwinecouture.com to get your Grow Out Collection for only $34.99. And you can also purchase the Aphrodisia 9, their number one leave-in condition.